Hi there! I am delighted to be back with you and to be doing this vlog today. And I thought that I'd like to share with you a little bit about my trip to Australia and some of the highlights because there were really were some great memorable pieces. I started in Melbourne offering a workshop called Transforming Trauma and the organizer had chosen a venue called the Abbotsford Convent. Well that turned out to be a very special place. So the Abbotsford Convent was founded by four nuns who wanted to serve women in need in, I think, 18, let's see, 63. And at the height of the convent's um, history, I guess, by the 1900s, it was the largest charitable organization in the Southern Hemisphere. They had over a thousand women and children inside its enclosed walls. And so that's a pretty powerful place to be doing a workshop on transforming trauma. Well, on top of that, in the group was a woman whose mom was placed in this convent at three and a half years of age. And Maureen was fascinated with this, her mom's experience and with the convent. But what was really noteworthy was her mom never wanted to talk about it. And so Maureen, as an adult, decided at some point she really wanted to understand both her mom and the history more and ended up writing a book called The Convent. I think what stands out for me with this piece is that whatever we're not willing to share, to own, to look at, stays locked in our system and there's no possibility for change and transformation. And so Maureen, as the daughter, really wanted to find a way, I think, to, to really understand her mom and, in a sense, to move forward in time. So very powerful workshop and place to do it in. From Melbourne, I flew to the interior to Uluru, formerly known as Ayers Rock, the big red rock. For a long time, I'd wanted to go there, and I really wanted to connect with both the land and the people. And so I had the opportunity to sit out under the stars and have dinner, to really walk around the Olgas, um, which is one of the formations there, and to feel the visceral sense of the land and the immensity of it. And also to sit in what's a watering hole. In Uluru, there's places where they would go in and they could connect with the water. And they're very beautiful sacred spots where you can sit and just feel the energy. And for me, I think the really profound piece was really seeing the very deep, ongoing connection that the Aborigines have with the land. And it really spoke to me that this is our history. Every one of us are connected in this way to land. And so the more that we can really reconnect in a conscious way, I think, with nature, with land, it really then nurtures the spirituality that's part of all of us. I was listening to Thomas More doing an interview with Oprah, and he was saying that he felt nature was one of the most profound ways we can connect with our spirituality and even with what he calls your personal religion. So, from Uluru I went to Alice Springs where I had a chance to do a workshop for teachers and caregivers of youth. And the real desire there was to help um, provide some ideas and some theory about how do young people really step into understanding where their freedom and their choice and their power lies. And so I introduced them to choice theory as a foundational way of understanding the needs that drive our behavior and where really our freedom does lie. Dr. Glasser called it the psychology of personal freedom. And I think for a lot of young people, that's what they're really searching for. So from Alice Springs, I then went to Sydney and had about two weeks in Sydney where I taught an advanced week of choice theory to teachers and folks that really wanted to look at this in more depth. It was very exciting to sort of dig into all the juicy bits of what this theory offers because there's so much in it about how we form pictures of what we want and then those pictures can be out of date or unattainable how we get trapped in wanting 
to control things and really make the outside world match our picture when sometimes that's an impossibility. And this theory really points to how do we get free of that. And lastly, I ended up on the Sunshine Coast where Australia and New Zealand have a combined conference once every two years. And so it's for the William Glasser Institute of Australia and I had the opportunity to do a keynote speech for them um, and some little workshops. And I chose to talk about identity as the key to our evolution which was really pretty out there kind of topic and I was thrilled that they wanted to go there because they wanted this conference this year to really be about the new science, about the brain, about our whole way we are evolving and set some perspective for people. And I loved being there with all the interest. Um, there was a couple from Iran that gave keynote presentation as well. And what I was very excited about is they've dug into the science of why choice theory is such a powerful theory of human behavior, but also, you know, did a lot of talking about how we really want to understand the brain and how it is changing, growing, and evolving which is just what I've been talking about in the blog. So we had some wonderful conversation, some great time in a wonderful place on the Sunshine Coast. So all in all, the trip really for me was a powerful combination of teaching, learning, connecting with people, and really connecting, I think, with the heart of what matters, the heart of the land, the heart of what we care about, the heart of relationships, and really the power of knowledge and wisdom for us to be able then to take that and transform our lives. So, very exciting time for me. I'm coming home to a great fall. Very excited to be doing some different work. Going to be sharing some things down in Mexico, some of this theory, um, because I really do believe that understanding this is the key to having peaceful relationships, great parenting, great partnering, and great business in how we do business in the world. We need new paradigms for how we're doing all of those things. And I think we now have the tools and the theory to help show us how to do that. All right, that's it for this week. Look forward to being in touch.